Science Grade 10 Unit 2 Electromagnetic Spectrum Week 1 The Different Regions of Electromagnetic Spectrum Most Essential Learning Competency Compare the relative wavelengths, frequencies, and energies of the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves. It is found at the lowest range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Frequencies of up to about 30 billion hertz or 30 gigahertz. The wavelengths are greater than about 10 millimeters. It is used primarily for communications including voice, data, and entertainment media. Microwaves. They have frequencies from about 3 gigahertz up to about 30 trillion hertz or 30 terahertz and wavelengths of about 10 millimeters to 100 micrometers. This is used for high bandwidth communications, radar, and as heat source for microwave ovens and industrial applications. Third is the infrared. This is in the range of the electromagnetic spectrum which is between the microwaves and the visible light. It is invisible to the human eyes but we can feel it as heat if the intensity is sufficient. Fourth is the visible light found in the middle of the electromagnetic spectrum has a frequency of about 400 terahertz to 800 terahertz and wavelengths of about 714 nanometer to 318 nanometer. Generally, visible light is defined as the wavelengths that are visible to most human eyes. The ultraviolet light is in the range of the electromagnetic spectrum between visible light and x-rays. It is a component of sunlight. It is invisible to the human eye and has numerous medical and industrial applications but it can also damage living tissues. The sixth one is x-ray. 
X-rays are classified into two types, the soft X-rays and the hard X-rays. Soft X-rays comprises the range of the electromagnetic spectrum between UV and gamma rays. Hard X-rays occupy the same region of the electromagnetic spectrum as gamma rays. The only difference between them is their source. X-rays are produced by accelerating electrons while gamma rays are produced by atomic nuclei. And lastly, gamma rays. It is in the range of the spectrum above soft X-rays. It can cause damage to living tissue which makes it useful for killing cancer cells when applied in carefully measured doses to small regions. Uncontrolled exposure, though, is extremely dangerous to humans.